All right, man, told you talk. Six o'clock show. Six o'clock show. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you. All right, so today's episode. Future came out and said something about like that in Kendrick and uh, Drake. But he also said something like, Kendrick dissed him on like that. I don't know about that. I don't. I don't know where he got that from. So, either way, before I get into that, you know I got to get a legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful single sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen. PayPal's in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And thank y'all for being here with me. I appreciate it. So, look, uh, let me know where you're from, too. We're going to get into this clip, man, and we'll be back to discuss. All right, so this comes courtesy of Chink Smooth. You know what it is, man. Let's go. <laughs> man, for anybody out there that's sick of this Drake, Kendrick Lamar beef or any variation of this beef, I got some bad news for you. It's not ending anytime soon. Now, one of the most important people in this beef, somebody that was there early on when the beef kicked off, Future. He hasn't really said much about Drake and Kendrick's beef. All we knew from Future was that Metro is his guy and he was going to ride with Metro through. Yeah, he definitely hasn't said anything. Future is one of those guys, he don't really say too much. But he definitely, I definitely seen the documentary, not documentary, but more, he was talking about Drake. Not in this uh, interview, but before he was talking about Drake, and he was saying like how, uh, you know, how he felt like Drake did him dirty. So, but let's see what he got to say here anything it wasn't too surprising when drake refused to this future on family matters instead drake was actually remorseful and he did not want to beef with future drake said pluto shit make me sick to my stomach we ain't never really been through it leland wayne who is metro booming he a fuck that was a crazy double entendre by the way because he basically saying pluto shit make you sick to my stomach he talking about the whatever's in the cup that the dirty sprite, you know what I'm saying? That's what basically saying. That was pretty dope. Let's run it back a little bit. Not want to beef with Future. Drake said, Pluto shit make me sick to my stomach. We ain't never really been through it. Leland Wayne, who is Metro Boomin, he a fucking lame. So I know he had to be an influence. These niggas had a plan and they finally found a way to rope you into it. It's always a little bit awkward when two of your mans do not get along, but you gotta stick with your mans that you knew longer. Today, Future and Metro did an interview and also a photo shoot with GQ. And you guessed it, they asked them about the Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef. Now, just because you asked Future about the beef does not mean Future would give you the answer that you're looking for. So the interviewer asked Future about his perspective on the beef. Future said, wait, there was beef? I didn't even know there was a beef. I didn't even know they had nothing going on. I ain't Come on, Future. Come on, Future. <laughs> Come on, bro. I like you, bro, but ain't no way in the world you're going to sit here and tell me that you didn't know that Drake and Kendrick had something going on. D get, d no, bro. Don't even do this, bro. Off of your song, you're telling me that you didn't know. That's super cat, bro. That I I never that's super cat, bro. You didn't know? Like stop, bro. Stop. That means you ain't paying attention to nothing, bro. You ain't paying attention to nothing. Ain't no way in the world you can tell me that you in the industry you know and you don't know about this. Come on, bro. No. I'm not rolling with that. That's that's out of control. Never participated in rap battles, man. Then Future was asked if he's cool with any and all parties involved. Future shrugged and said, yeah. Who I'm not cool with because I ain't got nothing to be mad about. Find something I should be mad at them about, then I guess I'll get mad. I have no reason to be mad at anybody. I just told you, I'm chilling. Do I sound like I'm mad at anybody? Now they also asked him how he felt about Kendrick Lamar seemingly dissing him on like that. Future said, I'm supposed 
How did uh, this? What? Who asked that question? Who asked that question? Who asked that question? You said they said, "How do you feel about Kendrick Lamar seemingly dissing you on your song?" How did Kendrick Lamar diss Future on the song? Or maybe I missed something. Y'all let me know in the comments. How did he diss him on the song? Where, where, what part was that? Because if that's the case, I need to go back and review the song again. What part was that? I don't understand it. To be the one who gets mad. I'm still confused about that. Nobody cares what I think. That's what was so fucked up about the shit. To the point where I'm so player that I didn't even say anything to the public about how I feel about it. Like, why is everybody mad when he was talking about me on my song? So y'all just forgot about me? I ain't part of this big three. I'm nobody on my song, man. If I didn't get mad, nobody should have gotten mad. If I would have really... I... I don't I don't think that I don't think that future I think he's just I don't know maybe he's maybe he's talking uh I don't know how he I don't know what he's saying here cuz he basically saying that he's not mad and why is everybody mad he's not mad even though the man dissed him on his own song and he's like well how and I'm asking the question like how he diss you on your own song if he's saying after big 3 it's just big me so do you think, are you saying that you are one of the big three? But Cole was the one that I believe came up with the big three, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't, I don't get that part of the, of the interview. I don't. My song. So y'all just forgot about me. I ain't part of this big three. I'm nobody on my song, man. If I didn't get mad, nobody should have gotten mad. If I would have really been mad about it and I made something out of it, then someone else could be like, oh, I can make something else about it. Now, I'm not going to lie, future. Bravo. This is an epic troll saying that you had no idea that Drake and Kendrick had any kind of issues going on is hilarious. That's been when I he is hilarious. Ain't no way in the world you're going to sit here and tell me that you didn't know that they had something going on. Come on, Future. You Ain't no way in the world, Future, you're going to sit, and sit, sit here and say that. Ain't no way, bro. Come on, man. The biggest storylines in hip-hop for the last decade. And you gotta love how Future is basically trying to make light of the beef. He's basically telling Drake, hey, listen, bro. I got this on my own record. Why the fuck were you mad about it, nigga? It's my shit, and he dissed me on it. Knowing damn well, I don't, I don't, I don't even get how he think he got dissed on his record. I, I don't know. That's what they say about people who. Some people say people are narcissistic, and they think everything's about them. They're so vain. Maybe future is vain. I don't know, but I don't, I don't see how he would even say something like that. Like, where did that come from? This whole time, I, I didn't know that Kendrick this future on his own record. I, I, I didn't, I don't think he even, uh, I don't know. I just didn't think that that was what it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Kendrick was trying to take Drake's head off on that record. Listen, I love Future, but nobody has ever put you in the conversation of Big Three in hip hop. It's always been Drake, Kendrick, Cole, whichever order you guys want to put them in, that's up to you. But Future has always been outside of that top three layer. This more so. I mean, uh, maybe now he is. <laughs> I take J. Cole out and put him there. That could, that, that could happen. But I don't know. I don't know if uh, some people put, some people put him in the big three. Maybe he puts himself in that big three. But I don't know. Think I don't think maybe he wasn't. Maybe maybe Future wasn't paying attention because he said that he got dissed on his own song. But maybe he wasn't paying attention because maybe he thought that the big three was uh, him, Metro Boom, and and, and Kendrick. <laughs> Maybe that's what he thought, and that's why he said that. But I'm thinking, like, if he's saying the big three, maybe he may. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of confused with this one. I'm confused because I'm like, how would he think that? Maybe he really wasn't paying attention because that 
Big Three line was a direct response to J. Cole when he said, the Big Three RB can't die to me, but I'm Muhammad Ali or something like that. That was a direct quote. I mean, a direct response to that. So how maybe he didn't hear it. Maybe he wasn't paying attention. Maybe that's what it was. Sounds like Future is trying to be peaceful about everything after it's done. If you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, Elliot Wilson reported that Drake and Future's camp were speaking and trying to reconcile. So in an effort not to create any more tension, looks like Future is trying to make light of the situation. You guys get in the comments below. What do you guys think about what Future said about the beef between Drake and Kendrick? Do you guys truly believe that Future had no idea there was actual beef between Drake and Kendrick? Post your comments below. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Yeah, you already know what it is. Chain smooth. Yeah, future, you bugging for that, bro. You bugging. You know that. You know exactly what what's going on there, bro. Don't cut it out. Knock it off. Oh, I didn't know. No, you knew. You knew. But the thing is, man, future don't really speak a lot. He don't talk too much. You know what I'm saying? And when he do say something, he, he, I mean, it is what it is, but he one of those dudes that don't say much. You know what I'm saying? And I think Drake saying that, oh, the Pluto made me sick to my, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff. I don't know, man, if if uh, Drake just saying that because he, he was really cool with, with Future, but from what I'm understanding, Future... I don't know, man. Sometimes I, I sometimes I think a lot of these rappers they say one thing in that one interview, and then they go to a different interview and say something different. I definitely seen Future talking about how how uh, maybe it's an old interview, but he was talking about how Drake kind of like how and he didn't say this, but it's kind of like he was saying like how Drake kind of played him. You know what I'm saying? And they were supposed to come out with an album part two of of, of an album, and it never happened. And then uh, what's the name got mad. Uh, 21 Savage got mad because, I mean, Future got mad at, at Drake because he did an album with 21 Savage. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I just th I just find it funny that Future would think that he was dissed on his own song when he wasn't, which is crazy to me. But either way, man, you have yourself a good, good night. I'll see y'all in the morning, man. Thank y'all for all the donations. I appreciate it, man. You know what I'm saying? I work really hard. I appreciate it. Thank y'all. That's all I'm gonna say, man. And um, hey, man. Hope everything uh works out for y'all, and get yourself some good rest. All right, see y'all. Peace, bye. <laughs>